Hey besties. So what I'm going to be working on today is nail decals. Um, I'm going to start with doing the topper for the nail decals because this is something that you can use for so many different things. I've done them for coloring books, candy bags, cotton candy bags, and I've also done them for nail decals. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do and uh, walk you through pretty much start to finish. Uh, uploading a pattern and also uploading an image. So my daughter had her eighth birthday party and it was Jojo Siwa theme. So that's what I'm gonna use for the nail decals. I've pretty much uploaded everything, but for those of you that are new to Design Space, I'm gonna show you how to upload an image. So I'm gonna go here to browse and I'm gonna add in the image that I wanna use. So I'm just going to add in this one right here. I'm going to go to complex and continue. Now, if I was using a JPEG image or a picture or something like that, then I would have been able to remove the background around the puppy. But because it's a PNG image, there's nothing that I need to change. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to go to upload a pattern. I'm going to pick any one from my laptop. So I have some digital paper here. I am going to just go ahead and upload any one of them and then we'll go ahead and get to the designs. I'm going to go into my project and I'm going to add in a square. I'm going to make it four inches wide. by 4.5 and I have to click my unlock and make it and then now I'm going to click my lock back the next thing I'm going to do is go to my shapes again and go to score line I'm going to change that to four inches and then I'm going to go to rotate 90 degrees Now I'm going to select them together. I will align to the left and then I'm going to align to the center. I will go to fill, then I will go to print. I will go to pattern and I'm going to select my pattern here. And then I'm going to go to edit pattern and I'm going to select maybe 250. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in and enter a square. Now what I'm going to do is add in my clip art that I'm going to use. Okay, so now that I have everything set up the way I want, I'm going to hide my score line. I'm going to select all of this together and I will flatten. Okay, I'm going to unhide my line. I'm going to move this to the back. And I am going to attach. So here I have my topper and here I have my nail decal. 
I'm cutting this all in the same color, which is going to be pink Oracle 651 vinyl. So I'm going to save my project and I'm going to show you guys what it will look like. I'm going to go here to projects. I'm going to go to nail decals. And this is the one that I use right here. I'm going to go to custom. So the way that she designed hers is that it's going to be printed. I wanted mine to be with Oracle 651. I'm gonna change my canvas color so you guys can see exactly what she has here. Um, and then I, what I did was I am flattened mine and I just changed it all to a cut instead of a print and I changed it to pink. I did not use this. So those I deleted. And again, you're welcome to use them if you like. I changed this to unflatten did a no fill and then the same thing okay so as you can see here i have my nail decals my bag is about four inches i'm making my nail decals a width of 3.75 so you're welcome to change these measurements as much as you like. Just make sure you measure your bag, uh, measure everything so that you're getting the right dimensions. Again, my bag is four inches, my topper is four inches. I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. I am going to look at what I have here. My print, I can make two of these uh, with my Cricut and apply. If I hand cut them, I can get about four. So I typically, when I'm doing these for a party, I would just hand cut it since it's a straight cut. 